Hey guys, Dr. Andre Pinesat, the Payment Productivity Expert, and I'm excited today to bring you a story about excitement and about passion and how it really can make the difference in success and failure. Uh, today I was out at a diner with my family and uh, we had this waitress who had this super thick accent and she came up to the table and she was just so excited, just smiling ear to ear and like, just like acting like our order was the most important thing ever. Like, what is your order? Tell me, give me, like, it was just amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, made me smile and make me want to come out of my seat. Uh, but she was really excited as we went through the meal. I just had to ask her, I was like, I was like, you are one of the happiest, most joyous people I've ever met. What are you so happy about? And she's like, I'm just so happy to be here and to have these opportunities. Um, and she went on this 15 minute uh, rant and it was beautiful. I, I loved listening to every minute of it, but essentially I'll sum it down in a couple seconds. She's from Kazakhstan and she's new in America. She's been here for like, I think she's at three or four months and she's from Kazakhstan. She has a son who is right around 10 years old and she in Kazakhstan, I guess the air is bad and her son has asthma and she also was not be able to make money to support him. So she actually applied to a bunch of schools in America. And she looked at cities that had low smog and San Diego happened to be one of them. So she applied to all these schools, she applied for scholarships, and she actually won a scholarship to the University of California in San Diego uh, to study there. And it pays for her school and some of her housing. And then, so she moved here with no family, never been to America. She spoke some English because she had learned some back in Kazakhstan. But she came to America to study, live her dream, take care of her kid, and do all those things. And she was telling us how she works this job in the morning, in the diner serving breakfast. She then goes to school. She then goes in the afternoon and takes care of her son. And then at night, she also was a bartender uh, to pay to make extra money. And for someone who has two jobs, a kid, which is another full-time job, and then also is a full-time student, she had so much energy and so much spunk and there was no sadness in her at all. And a lot of times people, we complain about all things we have to do, but she was just so happy and so jubilant about everything in her life. And she was so thankful. She kept saying, how oh, I'm just so thankful for these opportunities. And I think we can really learn from someone like this a couple things. But one of them is just that be appreciative for the things you have in your life and the opportunities you have. You know, it's so easy when you're a pre-med to get down on yourself or to feel like things are awful because the test went bad. But we have the opportunity to be at these amazing universities and learn these amazing things and these, we have the freedom to learn all these things that other people don't have, right? So be appreciative of that, right? When you go back to your dorm, think about the people who live out in the streets. Be appreciative of that. Don't be upset because you're on a triple. Be, upset, be happy there's a roof over your head and you've got two people to hang out with 24 seven in your 10 by 10 triple, you know? But be happy and enjoy those things and be thankful for it. Be appreciative of them. Be happy about it, right? And then the other thing is let that happiness out. Don't be afraid to be happy and be joyous because it's infectious. And she was apologizing after she went on this huge rant. She was so excited. And I was like, don't apologize. You just made my year. <laughs> I'm pumped up for the year because of what just happened. Because you are so excited and so happy about life that how could I feel upset about life? And I, I'm, I, I literally, I, I've been pumped ever since I, I talked to her, but it's just so amazing how infectious joy and positivity can be. And you should embody that, A, because it makes you happier, but then also it makes, it makes you better to be around, right? We all have that friend or that person we work with who's always complaining, who's always upset about something, who's always got a conflict going and always has drama, right? It's awful. Right? Or we know the person who's nice and who does like the nice cards for everybody or makes cookies. That kind of stuff is awesome and it really spreads joy and it makes you a joy to be around. It makes people want to be around you. And when people want to be around you, when people have great affinity for you, they're more willing to help you and be there for you and give you opportunities. So it'll come back to you in the end. But I just, I had to tell you guys this story because she was so excited. Here's this person who is from a foreign country, speaks some English, but went out of her way and was proactive and found scholarships, found a university that would accept her, found housing, left her whole family, had never been out of Kazakhstan, comes to America, working two jobs, working full time, taking care of her son, 
and is just so happy about it and so thankful about it, and she's going to have huge success. And I can see why you know UCSD let her in because she's going to do whatever she wants to do because she's determined and she's got such passion for life. And I just I wanted to share that with you guys and just have passion in your own life. And I hope that you guys will take a second in the comment box, write down something you're thankful about today. You know, I'm thankful for my family. You know, my wife, my baby, they're beautiful. It's, it's you know, it's so awesome every day to come home to them. So take a second and write down something you're thankful for. And then the other thing is, try to go out today and spread some of your joy. Go tell someone that what you're thankful for. Go tell them that, you know, you're excited for the day and why you're excited and spread that joy with them and ask them what they're excited about. All right?